Hello again, I'm Joe Connolly. Meet Chris Hale. He went back to community college to learn sustainable energy. Now he owns Sun Blue Energy. With about a dozen employees, they are installing solar power systems on houses, at theaters, on churches, and at town halls. What have you learned about sales in selling uh, a somewhat complex service product like this? Well, what I've learned about sales is um, that you really have to relate to people and let them know what the technology is and educate them on the technology. With solar, eight years ago, no one knew what it was. People still don't know what it was. So you have to break down those barriers and, and make it less of an unknown, relate to them on maybe their friends or neighbors who have it, and just appealing to what they're looking for and why they're looking into solar. So you have to be a very patient salesperson because you have to do a lot of education, right? Yes, we're happy to be patient. You know, it's a very big purchase. I mean, you can do no money down, but still it's a big engagement, a 30-year engagement that you're going to be creating electricity. Um, so um, we, we understand that, and we want to take our time and make sure that the customer's happy so we're not, they don't feel like they're rushing into anything. Do you do the sales, or do a few of you do sales? A few of us do the sales, including myself, yeah. Uh, one thing that impressed me on your website when I went to FAQs, and I immediately knew that you, I think, personally, had answered all these questions. Because you could tell they weren't cut and pasted out of some solar magazine. Yes. That really comes across. You did, you answer, You wrote and answered all those well, questions. Well, I'm, I'm blessed to live with a, a writer, an editor, my wife, who's a professional writer, and we worked on them together and the whole team. And there's also something interesting that he had under FAQs was something on solar power. Then there was a second section, um, seldom asked FAQs, right? Not so FAQs. Yeah, Not the, so the, FAQs. Yeah, the, I've never seen that any place. And I immediately then, as the viewer, wanted to go to that as well right. to see if I thought of those questions and was further drawn into the yes. site. Oh, that's incredible feedback. I'm glad to hear that you, you like that. I mean, because there are... In the solar sales process, since it's the unknown, you really, it's the same questions almost every time you're meeting with someone because you're teaching them about what it is. But then there's always new ones, new questions that come up. So it was good to have that separate section of things that may not be as frequently asked. On your video on your website, you said something my years of covering business owners I'd never heard. You said, I started this business because it seemed logical to start it. People talk about a passion, a need, a desire. I've never heard somebody say because it just seemed a logical thing to do. Tell me what you meant. Well, it can be rather grandiose idea that we're sort of everything we're doing right now as far as technology, everything is efficiency, logic. And we're sort of moving in this age of logic. And uh, solar energy fits that because you're creating electricity where you're using it. Uh, you're not getting it from miles away. It's not polluting the environment. And um, you, you're not buying it from anyone else. So it's purely logical. It makes sense. It's just as affordable as anything else. And uh, it's a great way to save money and a uh, great return on your investment. So it's just logical. It's logical to you that there would be a demand? Yes, because if you think about it, if the sun goes away, we are all, we're all gone. So why not pin our hopes on the, the energy source that will be there no matter what?